Yep. David, as we're talking about tools, there's another governance topic, another set of tools that might come in handy, and that has to do with backups. We get to the end of the year, and I'm curious as to whether anybody stops to think about, are we backing up our systems? Oh, that's a good specifically, one. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I can tell you across the years, the clients where there's been an issue with the data load and they assume we're backing things up and we assume they're backing things up for themselves and it's definitely worthwhile to check. Um, you know, not all backup tools are created equal because they're, the backups may be similar, but the restore effort may be completely different. Exactly. And above a certain size, you may want to look at a tool like an own backup that makes it more straightforward. Salesforce provides the, the weekly export service, which you can... Uh, set up and basically schedule way out into the future, two things have to happen. One is you have to have an end date that's out into the future. If you've had Salesforce for 10 years, that end date may have stopped a long time ago. So you want to just double check with that if that's your uh, export service, um, if that's how you're doing your backups. So that's only half the battle. The other half the battle is somebody has to do something with it. And MJ, how many hours? Is it 24 or 48 hours that those links are active? When that's right. Those weekly backups are not there up until the coming week. They're there for two days. And we had, we had a, a very young admin who came in and we gave him the keys to the kingdom and we told him, make sure we're backing up data, make sure you're downloading the data. And he spent probably an hour every week da manually downloading every single zip file that was part of that backup. There are tools that will help you with that. If you're using the weekly data export, there's a tool that I use. It's a PC-based tool called Fuse IT. It's F-U-S-E, capital I, capital T, SFDC Explorer. It's a really nice little tool, sadly PC only, so it wouldn't work for you, David, but it does work for me. Okay, lucky. And you. you can even schedule it to run. It will log into your org when you tell it to, either manually or in an automated way, and automatically download the files for you. It doesn't do you a ton of good to be doing the weekly data exports if nobody's downloading them, and you don't have to download them manually. There are other tools out there as well. Yeah, and the, the restore is not created equal. So even with considering yeah. that, I think it would be a horror show to try to do a restore from that. It's like, it feels great. Hopefully you only have to restore one object, not the entire system. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, to, one other thing that you said, David, and this goes back to governance as well. If you're doing a data exercise, my hard and fast rule is before I'm updating bulk data in production, I'm manually doing an export. So I'll spin up the data loader and, and download, you know, every account, every opportunity, everything that's likely to be touched or even unlikely to be touched just to be on the safe side. You're always better safe than sorry. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Sh should we, uh, should we talk about 2021? Uh, we can. I have one other thing around backups, and it's one that people don't always think about. If you don't have a continuous integration solution, the qu next question is, is your configuration backed up? Before you do a big deployment, are you going to be able to roll back if you get partway through that deployment and then realize, no, we're not going to be able to finish? What would it take to roll back? It's not an automated solution, but another thing that I do before a big deployment is I spin up a, config a developer sandbox. The developer sandbox, do it a day or two ahead of time so you know it's there and it doesn't hold you up, but that's your backup of production config. So heaven forbid something happens during your deployment, at least you know in that sandbox how things used to be. And, and it's not just for you know folks doing config or development, it's also for people wanting to do a cleanup of reports and dashboards. So if you're if you're gonna you know take a hatchet to the old junk on your report and dashboard tab, there's some techniques uh, we can talk about for uh, how to how to document that. Um, but but even still, you might actually use another one of those developer sandboxes to have a copy of your reports and dashboards before you take a hatchet to them, because you could quickly restore something if you happen to blow away your CRO's favorite favorite dashboard. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> 